Hi folks, I'm Sohan on Android.com where we get on Android every day. I know some of you are having trouble unrooting your Note 4 back to stock firmware. Um, so let me do one more guide here and show you how it's pretty much identical for all the Note 3s and Note 2s and Note 4s. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and show you again. Let's go do this baby. Hi folks, so first thing you'll need to do is check the model number of your Note 4. So first thing you'll want to do um, you can go ahead and check the back of the phone with the back cover off if you cannot access your phone uh, or you can simply go to settings and about phone uh, and it should tell you the model number uh, for mine is an SMN910F uh, and that's what you need to remember so go ahead and write that down power off your phone and we're going to go ahead and put it into Odin download mode uh, power off your phone and then you're going to go ahead and hold down the volume down center home in that order and also the power until you see this warning sign here and let go of all the buttons hit volume up and then you're going to go ahead and connect a micro usb cable to your computer and let's go to your computer next all right next go to my site galaxy note 4 root.com uh, if you click on note 4 stock firmers you'll find all the stock firmers uh, listed here and uh, if you don't see a listed here you can also go to sandfirmware.com um, but uh, go ahead and download the appropriate version uh, for mine, it's an SMN910F. You can actually use any of them, and I'm going to go ahead and download the Germany one. All right, and go ahead and simply uh, download this file. There should be a download link at the bottom. You may have to enter the CAPTCHA. All right, once downloaded, um, go ahead and go to your download folder, and you should be able to see it here. And the one I downloaded is an SMN910F, uh, this one DBT. All right, go ahead and double click it, uh, extract all files, all right, and I already uh, extracted it, but here we go. Uh, once you extract it inside, you will find a file ending in tar.md5, all right, that's all you really need. All right, next go ahead and download Odin 3 v 3.09, go ahead and double click it, extract all files, all right, and this will give you the Odin program, okay? And go ahead and double click on it and hit run. All right, you, see, you should see this uh, blue, yellow, sorry, blue highlighted box here with the COM number. Uh, if you see that, you're good to go. Next, go ahead and select AP. If you don't see it, um, go ahead and install drivers. Uh, you can go ahead and download the Samsung USB drivers. I'll have a link to it. Um, go ahead and download, run it, uh, and then unplug and plug your phone back in. It should show up. Also, make sure uh, Samsung Keys is turned off. You can go to Windows Task Manager and find keys.exe and turn it off, end the process. All right, that's taken care of. Um, also for Mac or Linux, you can use this program called Joden. It's basically Odin, uh, but made by Adam Utler. So you can use it with Java. So you install Java and then you'll be able to use Joden, which is pretty much uh, the same thing for Mac or Linux. And also you don't need drivers for Mac or Linux. Go ahead and choose AP next. Uh, and then go ahead and find the file. Uh, that folder was uh, blah blah.dbt for me. Inside it is the tar.md5 file. Select and we're ready to go and hit start. And it's actually checking MD5, so it might hang for, for a second here. And this will start flashing the stock firmware. This will install everything stock. Um, so if you're coming from a stock ROM and for example, you're coming from 4.4.4 and you're installing 5.0.1, uh, then you should be all good to go. It's just gonna upgrade your system. If you're coming from a custom ROM, like CM12 or something, uh, AOSP ROM to stock firmware, then it's probably not gonna boot and you may have to do a uh, factory reset which will erase everything on your phone. All right, one way to get around that is to reinstall a clock mod recovery or torp recovery after you installed uh, the stock firmware and then do a factory reset using that. All right guys, um, your phone should have reset. If you got to this point, you're good to go. And my phone is actually Rebooting at the moment, you can go ahead and pull the USB cable out and it is rebooting and I will be back when it completely reboots. Now again, if you're coming from an AOSP ROM, not a TouchWiz ROM, 
you may have to do a factory reset. Um, that, I'll actually show you real quick before this thing reboots. Let me change the camera angle. Okay, um, if it gets stuck at boot and you need to do a factory reset, now this will erase everything. Uh, what you want to, if you don't want it to erase everything, go ahead and follow my reroute, uh, reroute it, follow the root directions for the Note 4 and install clock my recovery and do a factory reset there. But uh, if you don't care and you're just returning your phone for warranty or you're selling it, go ahead and do volume up, center home and power. All right. After taking the battery out, let go of the buttons. And you'll get into this thing called stock recovery. This is the stock recovery. Sorry, let me put my cover back on so the battery doesn't pop out. And give it a second here and you should be able to select uh, factory reset. Now this will erase everything. This is actually a great way to erase everything if you buy a used phone. Um, I actually bought this used also. Go to wipe data factory reset, say yes and that will erase everything and it will boot your phone. All right, but I'm not gonna do it um, because I don't wanna erase everything on my phone right now. Uh, and also I'm coming from a touch -riz ROM, so I don't have to do it. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit and bo uh, boot and it should boot just fine. And we should be back on stock firmware. All right, here we go. My phone is booting. If you see the screen, you're pretty much good to go and I'll be back when this completely boots. All right, my phone has rebooted. I'm back on stock ROM, um, so good stuff. And that's how you do it. And thanks so much for watching this video. That was how to unroot your Note 4 uh, back to stock. This will work also on Note 3, Note 2. Uh, if you want to, it's pretty much identical. So I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. I have more videos coming. Um, so stay tuned and have a great Sunday. And as always, I'll stay on Android.